Okay, so I've sewn all my strips together for the front bodice on Jensi. And now I'm gonna show you how you're gonna pleat them. So I have a little poster board piece here and I drew a line um, 3 8 inches away from the edge here. So I'm gonna place the edge of my poster board right at the bottom of this main fabric, top of your accent fabric. And then you're gonna kind of accordion fold it over to the line, making sure that everything is staying precise. At, and that's gonna give us a 3 8 inch pleat. So I'm just gonna line it up and then I'm gonna press it as I go. And you might wanna use starch on it, it's up to you, however good your iron is. And then you're just gonna slide it and continue pleating it. So I'm folding my main fabric down over my accent fabric and pressing it. One more time to get it all. You just wanna make sure you're not getting excess fabric underneath there so that it stays even. Okay, so just a final pressing right there. Now, I'm gonna just rotate my fabric because it's easier for me this way. If you wanna work backwards, that's fine too. And then I'm gonna do the same exact thing at the bottom of that first accent piece, folding the second main fabric over the accent piece. So your accent, each accent is gonna have a fold above it and a fold below it, meaning a pleat. Same thing, bring your fabric down to your line and press it. So that when you are finished um, pleating your fabric, the amount of accent fabric will, your original accent fabric was two inch cut, then we did a 3 eighths inch seam allowance on both sides, so that's 3 fourths and then we're pleating 3 eighths over both sides, so that's another 3 fourths. So 3 fourths, 3 fourths is one and a half inches. So your remaining accent that should be showing should be a half an inch, because you fold it over, over, and you've got a half an inch here. And you're gonna repeat this same process with all three of your accent pieces. Okay, so now we're gonna start on our pin tucks. So I have the top of my bodice piece, which is the bigger piece um, at the top here. And then I'm going to measure to the center. So my strips are 16 inches. So here's my center. It's, I'm using a washable disappearing ink kind of pen. It's up to you if you want to use that or not, but I'm just kind of marking my center line. And then I have found it easier for me to use a piece of painter's tape to hold my pin tucks in place when we're about to do it. So I'm just drawing a line there down that center line that I marked. And then we are going to fold all of the top pleats up right along that line. And if you want to go ahead and press them as you go, everything's going to stay so much neater and crisper. I know that this is going to be really time consuming, but I highly recommend you take the time to do this correctly because it's going to take a lot of time no matter what, and you want it to turn out pretty for all the time you're doing. So I'm going to press all of these. And so then I'm just using masking tape or painter's tape to hold those up in place. And I'm gonna put this edge of my tape right on the edge of that line so that I can leave the tape in place while I sew. And I'm just gonna sew straight down this edge of my tape without sewing the tape. So I'm putting all those pin tucks in their proper place and sticking the tape on. You really wanna make sure that you get your tape stuck on good and make sure that it's straight as straight can be, especially if you have contrasting fabrics like this because your, your um, seam that we sew is going to show. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again, um, four inches over from my center. 
the exact same thing that I did, marking them and folding them up again. Okay, so now I have sewn along all my tape marks and pulled my tape. So now in between each of the three we sewed, we're gonna do the same pen tucking concept, but this time we're gonna press them all downward. So the first set was pressing up, and the second set is pressing down. And then you're gonna do the exact same thing. You can mark your line with a pen or hold everything in place with your tape. You're gonna measure in between the two lines you drew so that you have the center. Take your time to make sure everything is how you want it, because you're gonna be sewing this in place in just a minute. And I'm not measuring and drawing a straight line just for the sake of time for this video, but I highly recommend it again because it is gonna show that line that you sewed. So you're gonna do the same thing here in between these two. Press everything down. Eek. Even that last bottom row is gonna get pressed down. And you're gonna tape that. Then, on these outside edges that we have here, I wanna go ahead and press everything down to continue that wave pattern. You're not gonna have to sew these because they're gonna be part of the side seam on your bodice, but you do wanna press them into place and you might even wanna stick a pen in, in there to hold them later on after we cut out our bodice shape, just to ensure that everything is staying where it's supposed to. Nothing's getting flipped all crazy. Again, if you're gonna spend the time to do this beautiful bodice, you may as well go the extra mile to ensure it turns out beautifully. Okay. So, I pressed down at one, two, three, four locations, but I'm only gonna be sewing in two. I'm gonna put a tape here and sew there. And when I'm sewing, I'm starting about an inch above my pleats and ending just about an inch below my pleats. I don't, you don't have to go all the way up. It's just distracting to have your seams showing where it's not necessary. 